Wow. It is a beautiful day outside. What's going on guys? Professor Mike here, back again with another video. And today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about some pros and cons of driving a manual transmission in your car. So as you guys know, I do drive a manual. This is a six speed. Other cars have five speeds, some have four speeds. And I wanna talk to you about what are some pros to driving this thing? And then what are some cons? So that when you're buying a car, when you're looking at a car, that you can help make a decision on what you want. All right, so the first pro I would say is it's a great skill to have. I mean, driving a manual transmission is just something that you learn and you never forget. It's like riding a bike. Once you know how to do it, you'll know how to do it forever. And it's a good skill to have because a lot of things happen in this world unexpectedly and you really don't know what you're getting yourself into all the time. And let's say, hypothetically, you know how to drive a manual and your buddy, something happens with his car, he has a manual, no one else knows how to drive it to drive it back, uh, you're able to take the road or he's too drunk to drive home and he has a manual car and he can't leave it there and you're, you're able to drive one. And it's also a super cool thing to even know, to tell people about, like, hey, listen, yeah, like, I know how to drive a standard transmission is what you call it and uh it's like a little flex that yeah i can drive a car but i can also drive it manually as well so that pro leads me to my first con which is it's hard to learn how to drive these things i mean the first beginning driving is is gonna be bad you're gonna stall out you're not gonna know what gear is which you're gonna get uh one of your gears is going to be whining or not whining but it's going to be grinding because you're missing gears or you're putting it halfway and not shifting correctly you're going to be stalling though and that's like the biggest thing is stalling it is hard it takes a couple of weeks to learn how to drive this fully uh, but once you know how to do it you know how to do it but that's a big con because let's say you buy your car your first car manual and you can't even drive it because you don't even know how to drive it yet and you're learning and you're so excited to drive this new car that you have but you don't know how and that was me when I got my first car I got a manual transmission it wasn't this car it was another car but I didn't know how to drive it so I was so excited about my new car didn't even know how to drive it <laughs> but hey that's a that's something that is a one-time thing you know you learn how to do it then two weeks later to a month you're a pro at it and then you'll never never have to do that again because you'll always remember how to drive a manual. So going on to another pro of driving the manual is they're very cheap to get because not everybody knows how to drive a manual, so they can sell them to you for very cheap. I mean, sometimes it's a couple thousand dollars off because it's a manual or it'll be on the lot for so long because nobody wants to buy it because it's a manual, they don't know how to drive it or they don't want it. And so you can haggle a price and bargain a, a price and get a pretty sweet deal on, on a car that's a standard, which is awesome. But then going on to the con, if you were to go sell it, same thing. You're probably gonna have a hard time selling it because like I said, not everybody knows how to drive it. Not everybody wants to drive it. So it kind of goes hand in hand. If you know that you're gonna have it and have it forever, that's a plus. But if you think you're gonna sell it, you better, you know, put some research into it, put a little bit more effort because it's going to be a little hard to sell. So going on to another pro of driving a manual, I would say that it's less maintenance. Less things can go wrong because it, everything is operated manually. There's no, it's not automatic. So therefore, less things can go wrong. Like example, you're less a lot of susceptible to changing your brakes more often because you don't really use your brakes that much. See, when you're driving a manual, you use what's called engine braking, which is when your engine 
does the actual braking instead of the brakes was when you're downshifting, you're using the engine to slow you down. So when you downshift, you don't really have to use your brakes too much. So it actually saves you on your brakes. And on top of that, like I said, there's less parts to, an auto, to a manual, so therefore less things can go wrong. It's like driving a truck and you have a, a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive. Well, there's more things that can go wrong with the four-wheel drive, so there's more parts. Same thing with the turbos on the EcoBoost. If you have a naturally aspirated car, less can go wrong than obviously having turbos on your, on your car on top of your motor. So, like I said, less maintenance, less can go wrong, is great on your brakes. That's a huge pro. So the biggest con to driving a manual is gonna be the traffic. Let me tell you, I live in Orlando, Florida as of right now, and the traffic can be horrendous. And let me tell you, driving a manual, stop and go traffic, off the clutch, on the clutch, off the clutch, in gear, out of gear, is the most horrendous thing about driving these cars. Because you be stuck in traffic, put the clutch in gear, or put the clutch in, put it in gear, drive three feet, take the clutch off, put it in neutral. Put the clutch in, put it in gear, another three feet, take the clutch off, put it in neutral. It is like just constant on your left foot. I can tell you, I swear my left calf is bigger than my right calf because all I do is on and off the clutch, on and off the clutch and just calf raising this. And that, and that can get really, really hard on your leg, especially if you have a heavy clutch. Now my clutch is pretty, it's pretty light, so I, I can deal with it. But if you have a heavy stage, uh, stage three performance clutch, you have a race clutch, uh, those, that is gonna, that would be terrible. I would hate that. I'd probably tra trade in the car, sell it, I would, or get a daily. That's something else because that is, that is not gonna work for the road. That's the biggest con is in the traffic, if you live in the in the city like I do, it, it's rough. But if you live out in the suburbs, out in country, and there's not too much traffic, and you just want to have a good time, it, it's probably gonna be okay with for you. One pro, which could be a con, but it's most likely gonna be a pro for safety reasons, is you can't eat or text or or really do anything while you're driving a manual because you're constantly shifting through the gears. You're constantly clutching in, using your boat, you're using both hands at all times. So to text while shifting, it, it, it doesn't work. Or eating while shifting, it doesn't work. And that's actually, I'm gonna say it's a pro because it keeps you safe. It keeps you from taking your eyes off the road to text somebody or to, or to play with something on your phone or, or eat something because you constantly have your hand, one hand on one wheel and then the other hand is on the shifter. Now, when I'm driving like this, yeah, obviously I'm just hanging out, but there's a red light coming up, so I'm gonna need to go ahead and shift. And the last pro I'm gonna say to driving a manual transmission in a car is gonna be that it's fun. It really is. It is way different than driving automatic. It is a whole nother driving experience. When you put your, your foot to the third pedal and you're banging through the gears, especially if you have a sports car, it is, 10 out of 10 it changes the whole driving experience from you just putting your foot on the on the floor driving or you manually controlling the gears and i think that's the coolest thing ever it is so cool to have a sports car with a manual now if you have like a suv or a truck you don't it's probably not the coolest thing it's probably like eh but if you have a sports car and you want to feel the power and you want to be able to control the power and understand that you can control this thing and that you are in charge, then the manual transmission's for you. And that's a big pro. That's probably the biggest pro. That's, why, that's probably why people who buy the manual because they think it's a lot of fun. Nobody buys the manual because they like, they like uh, the idea of, you know, well, sometimes they like the idea of changing through the gears and stuff like that. But most of the time it's, it's going to be because it's fun. And like I said, it's different and you stick you stand out and you can drive your friends' cars. They can they but they can't necessarily drive yours. Let's say that you leave your car out and you left your keys in the ignition or someone's trying to steal your car, most of the time they can't even drive it. And that'd be the funniest thing if somebody were to steal this car and get in the car and realize that they can't drive a manual, they just walk out. That'd be the funniest thing ever.
But hey, that is going to be the conclusion of pros and cons of driving a manual transmission. I hope this uh, helped you guys figure out that maybe this is the best for you or maybe you want to stick with an automatic. So I just want to make this video to educate you guys, since I am Professor Mike, to let you know that, hey, this is the pro and these are the cons, in my opinion, of driving a manual. But other than that, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.